Hi everyone, Scott Smith in sunny Southern California. Man, do I have an exciting model for you today. I've been working for BMW for over 17 years and this car really, really excites me. They have done such a great job on the driving experience um, of this vehicle and they've upgraded it with more standard equipment some of the technology that we see in other vehicles um, at lower classes just to make up for the difference in their driving experience. Because we know BMW is the ultimate driving machine. Now I like to say it's the ultimate driving experience because with a lot of us um, there's different aspects of driving our transportation that are important to us. And I think BMW as a whole has done an amazing job on hitting so many um, parts of that driving experience. If we're talking um, technology, if we're talking efficiency, obviously if we're talking performance, but I think balance, um, even the luxury aspect of BMWs is just, I think, amazing with the overall experience. The one thing I challenge you guys to do, all my subscribers, first time watchers, is tomorrow morning when you get in your car to drive to work, to drive somewhere, and you close that door, and for those couple split seconds before you start your vehicle, stop. And while you're sitting in that silence, I want you to look around, and if you can't say, I love this car and I love driving this car, I, I challenge you to go down to your nearest BMW dealership, and when you go into the showroom and that client advisor greets you and asks you what brought you in today, just tell them, hey, Scott BMW Smith told me to come down here and experience a BMW. Now, I know a lot of you that are following me have already done that, and you're definitely enjoying one of the great models that BMW builds. But I am so excited about this car. I mean, obviously, you get excited about the new F90 M5, the M3s, the M2s, but... As I've gotten older, you know, things that are important to me have changed. I, I do have a, a child and I have one on the way, so obviously that changes your outlook, especially on your transportation, and I'm really excited about this car. This thing is phenomenal. The way it drives, the standard equipment. I mean, the previous model was wonderful, but they just put this into a whole nother level. So I know I'm sitting here ranting and raving, but um, and I've worked for other major manufacturers before being with BMW this long, and obviously that was a long time ago, but um, the, the, how far BMW has come with their vehicles, I'm, I'm proud of working for this company. So let's, let's get back to the vehicle. So this is the 2019 X3, and this is the 3.0i model, the two-wheel drive, what we call the S-Drive. So they've enhanced the, the mileage. Obviously the base price is less expensive than the X-Drive if you need the all-wheel drive, BMW's intelligent all-wheel drive. But for out here in Southern California, you know, 90 some percent of the time, this car will never even go off pavement or cement. So, but the handling of it, and it's the fastest uh, six second zero to 60 car I think I've ever driven this thing feels really really fast and really fast basically at any speed I'm so impressed with this b46 engine and I'll get into that in just a minute But this is the phytonic blue and we've got the black interior with the Sensatec. You definitely need to check out this interior material the interior material the Sensatec. very nice supple smooth soft a lot of our cars now we're building with the synthetic leather Obviously, it's in the base price, but the stuff is really nice. The generations that I've seen that interior go through and become what it is today, it's really, really nice. But check out those kidney grills. We are definitely making a statement. We are changing the way these cars are looking in the front, and we're definitely putting some bold characteristics, especially with our traditional kidney, uh, kidney grills. And as you can see, they are an active kidney grill, so they will close and open depending on cooling or efficiency. So even they're intelligent. And we've got some great lights. We've got over eight inches of clearance with this car too. So if you do have to you know, drive some steep uh, driveways, in and out, yeah, I know in the San Fernando Valley, we got some nasty intersections out there with some serious dips. So at least you've got a car here that's very capable. The rear track's about a half inch wider than, than the front. But you can definitely see that clearance. Also what they did on the 19, as you can see on the front, the front two doors, we don't have the uh, model indicator anymore. So that's gone, we've cleaned that up. I'll show you where we put it in the back. 
You can see there's our functional side gill. Very nice. But now, you can see we put the model X3 and the type of drivetrain and engine that it is on the back. Now this is, as I said, the B46 turbocharged four-cylinder. And look, we got some big split pipes. So it definitely looks aggressive, looks really nice. I like that the rear diffuser look, kind of breaks it up different from most cars. Gives it a little bit more of a sportier style. And then check out these tires. Now this one I did pick because it does have the upgraded 19-inch wheels. This is the, these are, they're all 19s by 7.5 all the way around. They've got an all-season sport tire on them. Um, and we've got, they're called the uh, Ferric Gray V-spoke, so they're a slightly gray color. Um, they're style 692, just in case. And it's a very modest price increase to go from the 18 to the 19, just to give you a little bit more enhanced handling. Also, very, very nice looking wheel. And the car comes tinted from the factory. That's factory tint, so it's in the glass. Let's go ahead. Now the car is just under 186 inches long, 74 inches wide, and 66 inches tall. It weighs 4,034 pounds curb weight. Like I mentioned earlier, zero to 60 in six seconds. But man, this thing feels fast at any speed. I mean, the way this car is geared, all the way back to that rear axle, BMW did a perfect job. All right. Let's go ahead and show you that power plant too. The B46, what an amazing engine they put into a lot of our vehicles. But first off, let's meet Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Hey. How are you doing? Good. All right. So here we go. As you can see, it's sitting nice and far back here in the front of the vehicle to help with balancing. But you've got 248 horsepower, 258 foot-pounds of torque. It is a twin scroll turbocharged two liter four cylinder engine. All right, so let's go ahead and close that up. We're gonna follow Brittany. Go ahead and show the leg room in the back. There we go. Have her jump in there. Let's show you some of the stuff on the road. Now it is, remember like I mentioned, factory tin and glass, so it's in the glass. It's not a film on the inside. It's actually in the glass. And here we've got the gray popular wood. Also we have some great storage down here. Obviously place for water, additional storage for the road trips. Brittany, how's that feel? It feels great. I'm 5'9", alone, right? But with the heels, <laughs> who knows? But it feels great. Cool, good to hear. So let's go ahead and show the uh, rear seat adjustment. Now this is standard, which is great. So you can see she can pull that, she can lay back and relax. It feels great. Imagine Perfect. road trip. <laughs> yes, or coming back from a crazy road <laughs> trip. Take a, take a, uh, definitely take a nap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the other side. I wanna show some more features. All right, first off, let's show the air conditioning controls. You can see we've actually put a screen back here so you can adjust it to what temperature. Also, you can pick where you want the air to come out of. So, very nice. And let's go up. Our giant moonroof now has gotten, yes, it almost. Fits the bun. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's almost 10 inches longer. So, you've got a great experience here in the back seat, as you can see. And it is tinted from the factory for protection. Perfect. What I'll do is let's go back over. We'll get Brittany out of the back seat. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. So we'll show the rear hatch and some of the features back here. There we go. All right, so obviously all of our SAV sport activity vehicles, they do come with the rear uh, security shade, but BMW did something great this time on where would you like to store it? Now, I know I've even thrown, you know, one of these in the garage and left it there for three years. So now let's get that out. Brittany will show us BMW did a great job on storage. 
So as you can see, completely hides underneath the floor. And what's nice too, compared to our previous model, we've got a little bit more storage, which is nice down here. So if you need to hide some Christmas gifts or some emergency stuff, definitely you've got some space now. So let's get this camera set back up. All right, Brittany, go ahead and pull that latch over there. A little bit farther back. Oh, a little bit farther back over here towards the door. There we go, perfect. So as we can see, boom, that drops the seat. I can drop this side. So you're going from 28 cubic feet of storage with the seats up to over 62 cubic feet of storage with them down. So plenty of room. I'll go over to this side. Brittany will go over there so she can put up the seat on that side. Perfect. And I'll put this one up. And also we'll show you the center armrest does come down. So we've got some cup holders in there in case there's just two of you, as you can see there. And awesome BMWs at the 40, 20, 40 split rear seat. So that way if you've got four people in the back, you can lay down that seat and run stuff all the way up if you need to. Perfect. Thanks, Brittany. Come on over to the driver's seat. There we go. All right, how does that feel? That was great. Cool. I love the adjustable side bolsters. It really yeah. hugs my side. I love that feeling, so I'm not sliding around on the chin. <laughs> While you're cruising through the canyons. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now over here on the door, one thing that's cool too, BMW in any type of the, you know, hidden space, they've put the little X indicator there. And then also, I don't know if we can see it, but it's hiding up here on the B pillar. So kind of cool. Now there's a better shot of the gray wood for you. And then you do have the window controls, obviously, mirrors where you can fold them in. And then also you can open and close the rear hatch from the driver's door. You got a place for water bottles, more storage. And we'll go up here. They got a little bit of hidden storage here. And it is got a soft felt lining. That way in case you want to put your sunglasses in there. And you got your lights and let's look at that digital dash. Very nice. And then um Brittany, if you can push that button right there. See the one that says sport? Yeah, so now you can see that dash light up in red, a little bit different setup, it's performance. Go ahead and hit the comfort. So that's back to the default right there. And then the next one is the Eco Pro for maximizing efficiency. So you can see their color indicated. Great, let's go back to that. Let's go back to sport. Definitely like that red. Okay, perfect. And check out this steering wheel. Very nice. She's gonna adjust it there. So you can see it's telescopic and tilt. So you can really dial it in just the way you want it. And then we do have the paddle shifters on the back that way. And then you can activate those even in regular drive. And then also, I know you're going to mention about the leg extension we have in these sports seats. So it's nice too for her long legs if she wants. This will adjust out to give more support to the hamstring. Perfect. Very nice. Cool, Brittany. I'll go jump in on the other side. Let's do another walk around here really quick on this color. This is the new blue, Phytonic Blue, for the uh, X3. Now, the 2018 model was the new Gen, and that was the X Drive. So, since uh, timing-wise on the S Drive was just, gosh, I think within this last month or so, um, I'm trying to remember when we started producing them. It could have been April. Or I can't remember if it was March for the 19S drive. So we'll get in here. I've got the sticker in here so we can go over that. Yeah, let me pull this out just so we can look at it. If you can hold that for me, Brittany. Let's do that. And let's do the other side really quick. Perfect. So this way you can kind of see how this car is built because really I really picked this car because of the packages and the options. So you can go down there and you see the driver's assistance package, the 19 inch wheels. Basically I'm highlighting the additional cost over the base price. So you've got the moonroof, heated seats, the navigation. But I'm really impressed with what we have on this car. 
um, for the price. And even if you go with white or black, you can see the metallic paint, you can actually be under $47,000. So, and with BMW Financial Services, with all their great programs, um, with leasing, traditional financing, and then the BMW Select, it really makes these cars affordable. Now, one thing I didn't mention yet, and uh, Brittany, I'll be right back. Just want to show them something. Some of the things they made standard now in the 2019, which I was really, really cool, to, uh, really excited to hear about. But see, as you can see, the connected drive up here in the windshield, those two cameras, we call it Active Guard. And what that includes is front pedestrian warning with full braking. So if those cameras do sense, you know, the shape of a human somewhere out in front and you might be heading towards them, now the system has full braking. Um, also, it has uh, active uh, the um, uh, excuse me the front front collision warning also is with full braking. So both of those are standard on this vehicle 2019. Also, the the uh, park distance control. So the sensors you have for parking front and rear, that's also going to be standard on this car. And I really really do like the seats. What we consider the sport seats, they're standard with the width adjustment. Um, definitely I know Brittany likes them too especially on those long trips you want some lateral support so you like this car Love it. <laughs> I know <laughs> what do you think huh it's not hard huh no. oh and she drove it up here to to the to the site here so and it was a first time driving this yeah, car this really nice. yeah Very smooth. that's it. good to hear now what we've got here is we've got our iDrive 6.0 and this is a 10.25 inch screen. Um, the hardware's been upgraded very quick, fast, high resolution. And as if you have watched any of my other videos, yes, it is, you know, touch screen. And then you can also customize your home screen. So we do have live templates here and you can grab them and put them in what order you would like to have them in. So that way, depending on what you like to use the most. What I like too is being with BMW so long and seeing the generations of the iDrive and the iDrive software and how it's just evolved over time. Uh, another neat feature is that each of the templates show you what you are doing or what you were doing in that template when you were there. So as we know from the past, a lot of you BMW drivers, we had a list of, you know, telephone, navigation, radio. Well, here in these templates, you actually see what's going on. So it's a little bit quicker, faster. Um, and when you go into, you know, you can see into the different templates here, there's the full map. You've got quick different um, shortcuts here on the side. Then you can also use the controller, which obviously we've had since the beginning. We do have readjusted our um, shortcut buttons basically over the last year or two. You got a touchpad controller, but really it just depends. And the voice command system has been really nicely upgraded. And then let's slide this open because BMW is known for wanting to hide their cup holders. They've always been that way. So as you can see, a lot deeper, very nice. Do have a charging port you can put here. We do have USB here, great storage here. We do have wireless charging available as an option on these cars. So this would be a platform just to throw your phone in there and let it charge. That way you could cover it up so it isn't seen. Also, God forbid if there's an accident, it doesn't fly around the cabin. So that way you can cover it up, or at least cover it here and have your cup holders taken. Also, we do have, let's see here, plenty of storage in our center armrest, which I know in the past we've had those smartphone um, devices to hook in your phone and stuff, which took up some space, but obviously we've moved past that. So we know how much Americans like to store stuff in our cars, don't we all? So uh, we've got plenty of room in there. And let's get up here to our air conditioning buttons as you can see very easy and quick to use they got a nice contrast with the white black easy to read even at night but you can see we've adjusted the buttons in the layout over the years just to make it quicker and faster for you and we do have still the shortcut buttons so running your fingers across the seven buttons you can see right on top of the screen and those can be set for phone numbers navigation address radio station satellite so very very nice cool now Brittany where can we follow you at you can follow me at BMW underscore Brittany and that's B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y the correct way cool all right so this is the fun spot where she gets to take off and hopefully come back and pick me up Maybe. <laughs> see ya
Hey, thanks everybody for watching. And definitely, if you're looking for a BMW, please send me an email. I'd love to have a chance to earn your business. There she goes. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.